on this little article. It's right there. Can you guys read that? House Democrats vote to approve illegal alien vote. House Democrats vote to approve illegal alien vote. How could that, how in a sane world do we think it's okay to have illegals vote in our elections? They're illegal. That would be like a stranger coming into a house of a family and voting on policies of the house. Just knocking on the front door, walking in, saying, all right, what are we having for dinner? No, I don't care if all of you guys want Chinese. I want pizza. We're going to, we need pizza. I mean, that's a very simple, you know, analogy. Probably not the greatest of analogies. This is ridiculous. Are you kidding me? The Democrat-led House of Representatives has done it again. For months, they've said. Uh, for months, we've said the Democrat contingent in Congress was anti-American and pro pro illegal, and they stopped right up and proved us proved us right. Stepped right up and proved us right. Not stopped right up and proved us right, because then they would be stopping. They stepped right up to prove us right. They somehow think that illegal aliens deserve the rights and privileges afforded legal citizens, whether natural born or otherwise. House Democrats voted Friday to defend localities that allow illegal immigrants to vote in their elections, turning back a GOP attempt to discourage the practice. That those bastards, the GOP, man, they are such intolerant, racist, hate brown people bastards. They don't even want to let illegal aliens vote. I mean, that's just rude. The vote marks a stunning reversal from just six months ago when the chamber, then under GOP control, voted to decry illegal immigrant voting. They're such... I just can't believe how racist and bigoted they are. We are prepared to open up the political process and let all of the people come in. Re Representative John Lewis, a Georgia Democrat and hero of the Civil Rights Movement, told colleagues as he led opposition to the GOP measure... In a 228 to 197 vote came as a part of a broader debate on Democrats' major le legislative priority this year, H.R. 1, the For the People Act. I love how they label these acts, too, as if they're these really nice, you know, good things, like the For the People Act, which includes historic expansions of voter registration and access, as well as a major rewrite of campaign finance laws. The measure would have no practical F effect even if it had passed. Illegal immigrants, and indeed non-citizens as a whole, are not legally able to participate in a federal election. So basically, it wouldn't have even mattered, but they're wanting to put it out there that they care about illegals, the Democrats, so that they can, they can run on that and they can campaign on that and they can, they can signal their virtue to say, hey, we tried to get you illegals a vote here in America, but... Are here in the country but it you know the federal government doesn't allow you to but we love you and we care for you and we want you to be able to vote even though you're illegal how many ways can we say it democrats in congress could have a full-fledged crop of stupidity completely gone to seed they've become so totally corrupt that the word illegal seems to be an utterly foreign concept how far into the swamp have they sunk they are law makers which in my mind automatically leads to the conclusion that, w that once something is a law, a violation of said law is something considered illegal or against the law. Now that is some pretty deep logic that I don't think most people get or grasp. If something is against the law and you break it, it's illegal. You're not allowed to break the law, it's illegal. Now, we can argue about which laws should be laws, but the fact of the matter is, if something is a law, it's illegal. And if you are, by definition, an illegal immigrant, you're here illegally, all other rules do not apply at that point. You, I mean, to the contrary, in the sense that you don't get any, I'm sorry, you don't get any rights. You get human rights in the sense that we don't want to just drag you out in the street and kill you or, or throw you in some cold prison without any food or water, like the Democrats tried to say that we did, which we didn't do when we were holding some of the Ill illegal immigrants. You don't have a right to vote. If you want a right to vote, you go back to the country of your origin, and then you can vote there. 
but when you're here, it's illegal. It just seems pretty simple. I don't understand what the big hubbub's about. How can they expect us to have any respect for their laws, their new laws, when it seems a lawbreaker now gets to take advantage of the new law that bypasses the law they broke? Uh, don't you just love it when they change the rules in the middle of the game so that they always win? You have to know that they're counting on the illegal aliens voting for the name with the D next to it. And that is the only... It's so transparent to me. It's like this stuff is so blatantly transparent and I can't believe most Democrats or liberals are that stupid to where they can't see that. You do see that the only reason they're doing this stuff isn't because they care about I illegal immigrants. It's because they want their vote. It's just like the whole thing about Kamala Harris talking about reparations and, and um, you know, and then, it, but out of the same breath, any African American that actually believes in conservative values is a Uncle Tom or is a traitor. It's like, can you get much more racist than that? I, I don't, I, it's, it's such a blatant form of racism because you're actually trying to say that, that these people don't get it. They don't, they, they don't see how you're just trying to buy their vote and, and, and win their vote. It's pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. Yeah. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> 